Welcome to Redefined Gospel YouTube channel where we are thriving in Christ. So this particular YouTube channel seeks to encourage those people who are new in their faith or are even old in their faith, if there's such a word as that, to be able to walk in faith and to apply the word of God in their real life circumstances. So basically we'll be talking about a variety of topics that we usually experience in our modern day life and how does the word come in in these particular experiences and for those who are trying to figure out this god thing like what does god say about this particular thing about money about relationships about being good stewards about so many things so it will be just a range of topics of how real life circumstances and the word of god interlink and they are one and the same thing and the word of God is not blind, if I may, quote unquote, the word of God is not blind to our real life circumstances. So this being an introduction video, or rather my very first video, then it is only polite to be able to introduce myself. I probably haven't said my name. My name is Joroge Ann, and I have been a podcast artist and have been does not mean I'm stopping for all my podcast fans that have actually clicked on this particular video. But rather, uh, I will be doing it less frequently, twice in a month as opposed to every week. And also, I'm a radio host. I usually host a radio show in our campus radio station, KU Radio. That tells you I'm in campus. I'm in my fourth year doing a law degree. And in this, uh, this particular show, the radio show, it's usually on Sunday, every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Other than that, I'm into filmmaking. So I have produced, write, uh, written, <laughs> written, <laughs> really, written, and also I do acting. And probably by this time next year, I really hope to have learned how to direct. That is basically it about me. If I have not actually said an aspect that I should have said in my introduction video, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer you. But on to our topic. So our topic is about being able to take leaps of faith. And how do we do it? And I'm going to give three tips. And simply pressing the record button on this particular video for me is a leap of faith because I've been afraid of so many things and I have stalled this for a long time until now and it's a leap of faith and even i was thinking about what should i do on my first video i remembered about what i have actually been going through and simply being able to take leaps of faith and these tips are actually not exhaustive there are more things and i know each of you may have reached that point maybe some of you have actually overcome and have been able to take that leap of faith so you can share more tips on the comment section but sometimes we have hobbies we want to pursue we have interests we want to pursue but we are afraid so how do we take those leaps of faith so my number one point is plug in and by plugging in i mean plugging in into jesus it's not a socket or something it reminds me of a time um like two months ago or a month ago actually i was doing my clinical externships it's kind of attachment internship kind of and i put on the socket but i had not plugged in the charger to my laptop and i was like this is not charging i think this thing is faulty but i had not actually plugged in so sometimes we know god we know jesus but we have not plugged him in even in what we desire to do and there are people in the bible and i will insert those scriptures on somewhere on the screen when i'm editing but when we look at esther when esther was told to face uh the king by Mordecai. the first thing they did they went into prayer and fasting for nehemiah when he was told jerusalem jerusalem was in ruins the first thing that he did he went into prayer so even when we have that interest we want to pursue that thing we want to do the first thing is to plug into jesus pray and ask god do you want me to do this and if yes you want me to do this particular thing then how do you intend me to go about it you know even when he told noah to build an ark he gave specific specifications if there's something like that specific uh, measurements and specifications of how the ark would look like and so we ought to enter into a point of 
prayer. And not only prayer, but also reading the word of God and being able to nourish because we'll hear from him and also we'll have courage because it is in the word of God that we are told that but I have not given you a spirit of fear, but I have given you a spirit of sound mind. I have given you a spirit of courage. And so that is what he says in his word. But if we are not plugging in, then fear will take over. And we will find ourselves in a circumstance where we are saying, I wanted to pursue this interest. I wanted to do this particular thing. But really, you are not actually pursuing that interest because of, of the fear that you had because you had not plugged in. And also reading literature. For me, I started reading the word of God more and even praying more. And um, the moment I started praying more and reading the word of God more, it's helped me. And not only reading the word of God and praying, I've said reading the word of God and praying so many times and I'm sorry for that. But also reading Christian, Christian literature. And uh, I have a book here. This, this particular book, I don't know if you can actually see it, it's Reynand Boke about uh, faith, the link with God's power. And it was talking about faith and it helped my faith grow, actually. It really helped my faith to grow. Tip number two is surround yourself with the right people. You know, most times we underestimate like person let me say personally i was underestimating the power of friends the power of sharing your vision but also you, you have to be careful who you're sharing your vision with and the moment i started sharing with a few of my friends some of them were like i'm just that what are you afraid of people what are you afraid of not getting the right maybe equipment or things to do what are you afraid of just start to when you surround yourself with people and are able to walk with them it becomes easy you know, even the Bible says that you need to walk, uh, two people, when they walk together, they do much more. I will insert that scripture and it talks about having a cord of three strings, which is more stronger than, you know, than maybe one strand of a string and became very important. Some of them, I told my, I met them like, like three weeks ago and some, somehow the conversation started and they have been on my case and they're still waiting for that video that you are aspiring to create you know creating content for the kingdom as they were putting it so surround yourself with the right people and number three the last tip is that um checking my notes so the last the third tip is just start just start you know what god was asking moses when he was at the burning bushes what is in your hand and what i will ask you today is what is in your hand just start sometimes we have excuses that i don't have a professional camera i i don't have time i don't have this i don't have this and it becomes very hard for us to be able to start so just start don't wait for the circumstances to be right just use the little that you have to do an excellent job because at the end of the day we don't want to be mediocre but also we can't stall things for so long because we are afraid so just do it and when we look at people in the Bible that God used, God used Jeremiah despite the fact that he was young. God used Gideon despite the fact that he was from a low, you know, he was like the least person in Israel. And you know what God is saying? Jeremiah, I know you say you're young, but I will use you. Gideon, I know you say you're the least member in Israel, but I am going to use you. Moses, you're a stammerer, but I'll seek help for you. So don't worry, I'm going to use you. I'm using you just as you are. And you know that is what God requires of us. God will use us just as we are. And that is it for this particular first video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And what is your takeaway from this particular video? I would love to hear your comments on this particular video. I've said this particular video like a million times. But it's okay. And also subscribe. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. There's so much content that I have prepared for you people to be able to consume. A content is usually consumed, right? Yes, content for you to consume all for the glory of God. So God bless you. Have a very fruitful rest of the week.